Hello and welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. Before we go any further with today's preview of the all-important Pool C clash between Australia and Georgia, don't forget to hit like, subscribe to the channel. Remember, all games are live, so join us and let's rugby. The venue is the Stade de France for this clash. Australia having history at the ground, winning only one of their last five encounters. Georgia, however, it's a new place for them to play. They haven't played there before. Will that play a factor in this clash? The referee, Luke Pierce, is from England. He will be the referee. It's his second World Cup, so he's got a bit of experience. So I think the right man to handle this job. It's an important clash in Pool C. Georgia kind of have an opportunity to believe that they can get out this pool. Remember that they themselves have never made it past the pool stage. Australia, however, they have two World Cups behind them. They have actually the second most victories in World Cups in the history of World Cup tournaments behind New Zealand. So Australia, you have to back them as the sort of favourites. But Georgia, I think now more than ever, having a time to believe. We're just going to go through the 23 of each team, starting with Georgia. The front row made up by Nika Abuladze, Shalva Mamukashvili, and Guram Papidze. The locking pairs, Nordo Chasvili and Konstantin Mikotadze. The back row for Georgia, Tornika Jelagonia, Luka Ivanishvili, and Beka Gogadze. 9 and 10 is Vassal Lobzanidze and Luka Matkava. 11, we have Mariani Modabadze. 12, the captain fantastic Mera Sharikadze. His 42nd cap as captain, their most experienced player. I'm sure they'll be relying on him. At 13, Demo Tapladze. 14, Akaki Tabuzadze. And 15, the fullback, David Niniashvili. Look out for him. On the reserve bench at 16, Tengizi Zamtaradze, 17 Guram Gogigashvili, 18 Beka Gigashvili, 19 Lasha Jaini, 20 Jojo Tutsakaridze, 21 Jela Aprazidze, 22 Tedo Abzandadze, and 23 Jojo Kvezaladze. That's the 23 for Georgia that will be running out against Australia. An interesting note to make is that nine of those 23, in fact, played against Australia at the 2019 World Cup. They met before only on one occasion, Australia winning that game 27 points to eight. So a bit of familiar, familiarity, I should say, for Georgia in that some of their players in the 23 have played against Australia before. Will that count as a factor? For Australia, 1 to 23. The front row is made up of Angus Bell, David Parecki, and Tanyali Tupo, who will be playing in his 50th cap for Australia. So a big moment for him. At a locking pair, we have Richie Arnold and the captain, Will Skelton. In comparison to his Georgian counterpart, Will Skelton, relatively much more inexperienced as captain. How will that factor in the game? In the back row, we have Tom Hooper, Frazier McWright, and Rob Valentini, who has been one of their more consistent performers, having played in more minutes than any of the other forwards this season. 9 and 10 is made up of Tate McDermott and Carter Gordon, the young fly-off who Eddie Jones has backed. Keep in mind, Eddie Jones is under a lot of pressure in the fact that Australia have not won a single game in this calendar year, which is actually history in the making leading up to a World Cup tournament for Australia. But Eddie Jones has backed the young fly-off. There was talk about Quade Cooper. That's put to bed. He's backing his fly-off at Carter Gordon. The left wing, Marika Korobeti, got experience there. 12, Samu Karevi is back. A vital cog in their playmaking abilities. 13, Jordan Pattaya. At 14, another youngster to look out for, Mark Nawakanita Wase. And 15, Ben Donaldson. The reserve bench is made up of Matt Faisler, 
Blake Shoup, Zane Nongo, Rob Liotta, Langi Gleason, Nick White, Lelakai Foketi, and Suliasi Vuni Valu. That's the Australian 23 for this clash. It will be an interesting battle. As I mentioned, Georgia will fancy themselves against Australia. But keep in mind, this is Eddie Jones's fourth World Cup. So he's got the experience having been there in the final with Australia in 2003, having been there as an assistant technical coach with the box in 2007. He knows what to do in these sort of tournaments. For the coach of Georgia, I think he's relying on the fact that Georgia have gone through their Rugby Europe Championship, which is a Tier 2 nation championship, and won four consecutive titles. So they, in contrast to Australia, I believe, have that winning momentum mentality. How they can keep up with Australia and the mysterious guise of Eddie Jones and his trickery is another question. Join me on Saturday from half past five South African Standard Time. Remember, we'll be building up a half an hour before kickoff, which is at six o'clock South African time. It's going to be an interesting one. It's the start of the Rugby World Cup 2023. It's the start de France. It's on. Join me. I will be your host, your commentary watch along host for that game. Let's rugby together. Until then.